instead of trying to say, oh, this is a failure and we need to, you know, uh, redo the experiment, we actually try to understand why what we found was different. During my research at the car lab, I began to develop a framework that allows our robots to view obstacles or disturbances as opportunities and use their legs as disturbance selectors to choose which disturbance they want to keep and which to skip. Simply by moving their legs at different gates, a four-leg robot can use obstacles to move towards different angles. When we walk around the desert, our feet almost work as a sensor to help us determine how soft the sand is or how hard it is, which is also an indication of how erodible the soil is. And the idea is why can't let the robot do the same? So at the first step, we actually let the Rex robot carry one of the Minotaur robot leg on its back to almost work as elephant trunk to scrape on the ground. Going forward, the goal is while the Minotaur robot is actively walking, and running even. Uh, it can still use all four legs, each one as a soil erodibility sensor. The other thing I think that Grass Lab allows me to connect my research to a broader world is through the RET experience, where I worked with Kara to help her gain research experience, which later she can integrate in her K-12 teaching. We should actually really expect and embrace anything that we learn from our observations. And research is not depend on degree, but only depend on curiosity and persistence.